Here is how you add a customized adjective, a describing word, in WordPower in chat. Uh, first, you, you can use the word finder to check if the word already exists in the vocabulary. So in this case, I want to add the word cheeky. So I'm going to search for cheeky just to see if it already exists. And I can see no search results show up that tells me that cheeky doesn't exist yet in this vocabulary, so I can add it in. Go back. So to add in a new button, we need to open the menu. You can do this by swiping right from the left of the screen, by pressing and holding the back button on your device, by pressing the three dots in the speech display bar, or the menu bar on the top of the screen if you have these enabled as options. Press edit mode. Red font will appear on the bottom of the page when you're in edit mode to tell you the name of the vocabulary and the page that you're on. We're going to add a describing word, so we're going to open our describe page. So press on describe. Find a blank cell to add your new word. I'm going to add my word here. Press and hold the cell that you want to edit and then press edit button. Each button has four things. A label, what's written on the button. The message is what it says. You can edit the pronunciation here if required. And then it is also the option to add a symbol or a photo for the, to the button. So I'm going to start by typing in cheeky in the label. And you can see that it's automatically populated the message to also speak cheeky, which is great. So from here, I'm going to scroll down. I could, if I wanted to choose a camera, to take a photo. I'm going to press find to find a symbol to represent this, this word. Uh, it will automatically put the button label into the search bar. You can change this if you wanted to type for a different symbol. Uh, when you're happy, you can press search. And from here, you can pick any symbol that suits. You can see a preview of your button here. When you're happy with that button, you can press save. And here's that button. Cheeky. Now, if you wanted the word, your new button, your new adjective to also appear in the describe A to Z page. So for me, that would be on the C page. Then you can copy and paste that new, that button that you've just created. So go to where your new button is, press and hold and press copy button. Go to describe A to Z and press the letter that your word starts with. Press and hold where you want to paste the button and press paste button. In this case, I can see that my button is a different color to the rest of my words. I could edit this button to be the same color if I wanted. So I could press and hold, edit button, go into style, press body, and then choose the same color, then press save. There it is. Once you're finished editing, you can open your menu and press on edit mode. 